Hi, living in Boulder Vlog, October 30th, 2019, Wednesday at 5.59 a.m. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna try and go to sleep pretty soon. Cause, um, I got to get up earlier. I don't want, I, got, I can't be a nocturnal cause I went over to my mama's house and, uh, yesterday and, uh, she was like super like pissed off at me cause I went over there too late and didn't have time to help her. She wanted me to help her out with stuff. So <laughs> I guess you could tell I'm pretty high right now. I, um, I've been huffing reefer and, um, and then like I was kind of getting to the end of my reefer. I got a whole bunch of it, like a hundred bucks, more than a hundred bucks worth just a little bit ago, but then my roommate keeps coming in and buying it from me. So then I had it, I saw that like along the edge was caked all this like, you know, high powder stuff. So I scraped it off and got all high. That's the best kind of high, man. The key for high. So, yeah, so, um. I went over there and she, you know, gave me a meal and I went over there cause I wanted to, she, cause she told me that there was an extra heater there. She's like, yeah, I know it's here. I know. But I went over there and it wasn't there. And then, um, so I thought I was here, came in and looked at my basement, wasn't here either. So I think like one of my brothers grabbed it. So whatever. Uh, I think I'll have to buy another one though. Cause I mean, I have, I have had mine working all night long and I don't even, uh, um, I turned it off to do the video. Um, I've got two big ass blankets there though. I, I'll offer one to my roommate, but um, I should I should wear that. But you know, I need to have like my all my arms free as I work. But yeah, I should have not used so much of the heater. But um, um, I was even man. I'm so addicted to energy drinks. I was even think I like I almost I was like planning on it. I was like only ten minutes until the store opens. We're gonna do it. I was going to drive to the goddamn supermarket just to get an energy drink in this freezing-ass cold weather. Um, you know, and risk my freaking car going meh the whole time. I'm crazy, my car. Oh, I got to remember to call the um, mechanic. That's the other thing. I got up too late to, like, call the mechanic. I get up and then at, like, 4 or whatever, and then I'm working, and then I'm like, oh, shit, you know, the mechanic closes at 5. So, um... Um... Yeah, she's all screaming, yelling at me. So I, I, I got, I got to. I'm gonna go to sleep, even though I'm not tired. Like I'm not tired at all. I could keep working, um, but I think I'm gonna go to sleep anyway, just so I can get up. Set my alarm. I need some alarm. Try to get up at noon. I'm gonna get up at noon, and I'm gonna get ahead over. I'm gonna be like, I'm coming now, coming now, no matter what. So yeah, make her have it. So no more bitching and moaning. She's going to go help her friend over in L.A. for like a week next week. So she needs to me to help her uh, prepare to get her going and stuff. She wants to rent one of her rooms for money. And uh, she's been on like so many vacations this year. It's crazy, like six or seven or whatever. I need to see the count. I don't know. but um, So anyway, I'm uh, what's what's going on with me? Um, so yesterday I was working on, uh, yeah, I think yesterday was the first day that I did pure Google Earth, and uh, so then today, as in yesterday, so yeah, yeah, well, yesterday was the first day that I vlogged about it, so I think yesterday was the second day that I did full day Google Earth Rome, which is wicked dope, um, super, oh man, it's just such a great project to get hooked into, because at this stage, because all I have to, it's like a kid with a freaking coloring book, all I have to do is color it and get it to proper height and then you're done you google earth because i already did the time consuming stuff i already traced it you know there were a couple of boo-boos or a couple of ones that i missed but i did it pretty much you know so i mean you know maybe even so i'm half more than halfway the way there and working to get this and i already uploaded it by the way so you could go and go to it i'll put the link after this video once it uploads on my computer i'll Put the link to the uh, Google Earth to download it and see what I'm talking about. If anybody is extra interested, they could download it every day to see my progress every day or every week, you know. And then other people could get a gauge of how many far it is until I'm done with it, you know. 
Um, so, you know, people will see that it's not, uh, it's not like the never ending project, you know, and it's totally worth it. I mean, I'm going to, you know, I want to, I want to figure out a way to make people interested in it, um, by sucking people in, turn it into some really interesting, beautiful kind of fairy tale land by, and something that's easy to remember the different areas of it by, um, uh, coloring it in a, uh, so that everything is distinctive, everything is colored, and um, so you can see all the different areas. And uh, and then I'm going to do tours of it, like the triathlons, uh, where you can actually do ground level of it. So it's like I'm pretending that there's a time travel triathlon and that I'm the um, the tour guide of the guy showing the route of the triathlon. And then I'm describing like where you're going through in the triathlon, and it'll interest a lot of people who because so many people have done those triathlons, so it'll help people understand what the distances are, and uh, so they could then imagine themselves in back in time in Rome, so. And then not just the triathlon, but staying there, all the people, like the 3,000 people who do the triathlons, you would show where they all stay and all the different groups stay to help get an idea of how, bi how big it is and everything, like it's even, make it even more real, so. Um, yeah, all I have to do is build it, so. Um, I, uh, so yesterday as I was building it, um, I was, uh, coloring the, uh, uh, pillars and then I was, um, making sure that all of the structures were at the same height. I put them at 10, 10 meters, which is, I guess, 30 feet high and everything. I think that's what everything else was. And, um, um, and then coloring, um, yeah, the pillars and, and, and getting everything high and, and getting all the, and some of them are getting all the pillars. Um, even that's going to be the most time consuming thing. So I want to save that for last. I want to get everything up, um, the walls up and then the, and the main pillars and then, yeah, and then get the pillars have to even them out, which will take forever. Cause sometimes you have to do them individually. Um, but I did one big one like that and it looks good when it's done, but, um, and then the last thing I did right before I did this video was um, there were a bunch of other structures that were below the level of the uh, floor that I made. So I had to make them higher. And I think I, I saw a bunch that weren't even done, which I think is bizarre. Like, why would I have missed that? I thought I got all of them, but I didn't get around to checking. Maybe they're in the other adjo adjo adjoining, uh, the Forum Romanum, the Roman Forum section, um, region. And somehow it kind of, sometimes they bleed through. Like there's, there's a, uh, uh, a racetrack that's in, uh, um, Pal Palace, um, one that I still haven't gotten over the other one yet and took it off. So it's interesting. Um, but the way that I made the palace is, uh, um, it's going to be great for, uh, giving a tours and it connects the palace actually on one level with the, uh, Circus Maximus, so you can give a tour as though it's one big building. Um, but, uh, you know, in, in terms of giving a contiguous tour on Google Earth, I had to have uh, as much of it on the same level as possible and also to keep it from getting too complicated. So I built up um, 2.1 kilometers around perimeter uh, one level to represent the entire palace and I think that's pretty much probably what it looked like anyway just like it was built up and since then it all like kind of reverted away then would have been like a multi-layer uh, level buildings but um because I even kind of saw it like that too how it was built up around the mount the hill but um um you know and even connecting to the Circus Maximus because for the Circus Maximus to be able to hold what was that that they said it held held 250,000 or 150,000 people you would have had to build it the way I built it as much as I built it I made mine maybe all that much it's amazing so but um um yeah so uh it's uh it's like one one level and it's and it's higher up than the uh than everything else oh you know what I've almost talked for 10 minutes so I think I'm gonna go ahead and and hang up and we'll talk tomorrow and I'll, hopefully we'll be farther ahead. Bye-bye.